Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. So our lake I think is just it's completely fully done and now we are getting progress made towards getting moss which means the ground is going to start turning green here very very soon. What is that? What? <gasps> are those waterfalls? Oh my god, all of the ice has melted. All of, look at all the waterfalls! Oh, I might have to move. I might have to move. I want to live where the waterfalls are. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I really wish I had a faster jetpack, but it's fine. Oh, please just let me get there faster. I really want to see what's going on over here. Holy cow, I was not expecting to turn around and see waterfalls. This, yeah, this is all completely new to me. Completely new to me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, get over the hill. <gasps> all the snow has melted. Oh my gosh, there's a river. There is a river. Oh, what? Oh, this is so cool. Is that a chest? That is absolutely a chest. Ooh, explosive powder. I needed that. Thank you, chest. Oh, wow. This is absolutely incredible. <gasps> it's so pretty. Look at the mist. Look at the mist from the waterfall. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh, it's so cool. Oh, there's a cave. Oh, we're going exploring really quick. Was this the cave I was in? Uh, yeah, wasn't there a chest over here? I feel like this is the cave I was in when I was in, like, that weird swimming motion. Okay. All right. Oh, what's over here? More waterfalls. Ooh, another chest. Explosive powder. Sulfur. I definitely also need that. I'll take it. Oh my gosh! Oh, there's more lakes! And more waterfalls! Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, wait a second. This is like that Grand Canyon area. Grand Canyon area. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Alright, let's, let's see. Is it all filled with water? Wait, what? Holy crap! Can I go back here? No, oh, that's a wall. <laughs> but it's still really cool. I wonder if all this is going to get filled up with water. I want to say it does. <gasps> the ground is turning green. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, what? She's <laughs> my whole intro got completely thrown off by finding uh, waterfalls, and now I have completely lost track of what I was even gonna do today. But um, I do know that I need to go and find more osmium. Um, and we also unlocked a blueprint here. <laughs> Let's just land here for a second. Hit Q. We did unlock this, the machine optimizer. Find and insert fuses into this to boost the performance of nearby machines. And I'm very curious, very, very curious about this and how that all works. So I think I'm going to build that, but, uh, oh, hold on. I've already forgotten what I need for it. Yeah, I need a uranium rod and another explosive powder. Super duper easy to get. So I think I'm going to actually run around, gather some more materials. I'm not going to go anywhere new because I want you guys along with me for that adventure. So I'm basically just going to stick to the areas that we've already been, like that cave that's up there by that crashed ship, and uh, grab the osmium that I know spawns inside of there, and then, uh, yeah, I'll catch you all back here in just a second. I went and gathered all the stuff, and now we are going to expand out our platform just a bit over here because I want to put down that machine, and I don't want it on the other side. And I think, yeah, that that should be 
Fine. Oh, crap. I used last. I used two extra iron. Okay, let me go ahead and grab some more. Okay, one and two. All right, and now we should be able to plonk this machine down. So let's grab it from right here. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, there's a radius. Okay. 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 So I do have a thing. I have a thing. I have a thing that gives me a bonus to pressure. So can I, like, get this to fit back here? Oh, there's a huge circle. Okay, so we're gonna just try to plonk it somewhere where all these... Uh... <laughs> okay. All right, it's time to upgrade our power. So two bottles of water, three super alloy, and a uranium rod. All right, let's go grab that. Uh, this one I can actually get rid of because we have the, the lake collector and that guy does a great job of getting water very quickly. Uh, oh, and I forgot. Uh, two super alloy and a rod. Two super alloy and a uranium rod. And now I can put that one random piece of uranium away. And uh, let's go put this guy down. Uh, you know what? We're going to go put him over here. Right there. Perfect. Okay. All right. So now we have power. And I did find... Uh-oh. Uh <gasps> did it use it? No, it didn't use it. Where did I put it? I have a thing that goes into that thing for other things. This one right here. Pressure multiplier fuse. Insert this fuse in an optimizer to boost the performance of nearby machines. Pressure multiplier 500%. Which, uh, yeah. We're absolutely putting that guy in here. Alright, so. If we look at a thing here. Okay, alright. So we're generating 34 NPAs. Got it. Okay. Insert this. Oh. Oh, it shows you what machines are being boosted. That's cool. Okay, so now if I look here. Oh, wow. Wow. 178 NPAs. That's fantastic, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a good thing. Okay. So, we also... Oh, it's stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> we also built this biodome. And we have tree bark. All right, so we can start putting that in this locker here. And then I need a tree bark for something, but I don't remember what. Was it the plant rocket? Because we absolutely need to send that guy off into space. So let's go head outside. Check the recipe for the plant rocket. Right here. Okay. Plant rocket. A tree bark, a lerma, a fertilizer, two super alloy, and if I right click, I can pin it. Somebody taught me that in stream. Thank you. Um, okay, so we have that recipe pinned, which means I can now take a look at that and not forget what I need. <laughs> All right. Fertilizer. Did I put any random fertilizer anywhere in here? I'm going to say no, which means we're going to have to run outside, grab some algae. Oh, look at all the algae we got. Oh, yeah. Give me. Give me all the algae. All the algae. All of it. Oh, my gosh. We got so much. <gasps> we have so much. Oh, this thing is great. This thing is great. Okay. All right. <sighs> all right. Get up here. And then to make the fertilizer, it is three algae, a sulfur, and two eggplant, which I think we should have a bunch of food growing. Oh, yeah. All right. Eggplant. Eggplant, beans, mushroom, mushroom, squash, mu uh, eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. All right. That's great. That's great. Okay. So we can put all that in there. We'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. We'll sort. And then I have the two eggplants that I need. And we have a few extras, which is fantastic. All right. So now, oh, sulfur, 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 right? Correct. Okay. Sulfur. Grab that. And we'll make the fertilizer. And now... Oh, wait. It doesn't show me how to make a rocket in here, does it? Well, that's silly. Okay. Uh, I know I need a tree bark. And I need a lerma seed. 
uh, not in there, right in here. And then I want to say it was a rocket and a super alloy. And I know we have a rocket in here. And did it take a super alloy? I can't quite remember. Oh yeah, no, it does. It takes two. I have it pinned. I should be able to remember. Just look up. Just look up, Bad Wolf. Just look up. Okay. All right. We have all the things. We're going to go in here and craft the plant rocket. And we'll wait so that it doesn't attack us. Okay. Oh, look at all the plants inside of there. That's so cool. Okay. And off it goes into outer space. Fantastic. Okay, I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Are we going to get a rocket? A rocket. A comet storm? Or is it just going to turn the sky kind of green and smoky? Okay, kind of green and smoky. Alright, so we're going to pop inside. We're going to take a look at our... Nope. Although that's really going up, which is great. We're going to take a look over here. We have biomass. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now that should be unlocking at least a little bit faster. Yes. Okay. It is a little bit faster. Oh, the tier two flower spreader. Okay, so that's definitely going to be huge help, and we are very close to getting that. Look at the numbers go up like crazy. Oh, it's so good. Oh, high quality food. I forgot about that. And there we go. There we go. Okay, so now what does it take to uh, craft that guy? Right there. Okay, so more fertilizer. Did it cost a fertilizer to build these thingy doodlers? I want to say it probably did. So let's clear that out. It did. Okay, so I should possibly have everything I need to make at least one of these tier two guys. Yeah. All right, we'll plonk that guy here. Uh, don't want to dismantle it. I want to put a seed in there, though, for sure. Okay, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're getting way more plants and oxygen. That is fantastic. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. I got to check my drills. Okay, all right. I'm going to do a bunch of unloading, and I'll be RBs. So I am in dire need of super alloy. I only have two left. So we're going to head over here into the dust bowl because behind all this falling sand is a whole bunch of super alloy. And this area freaks me out so much. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I can't see anything and I am terrified of getting jump scared. <laughs> All right, so let's grab the super alloy. Oh, yeah. Give me all of them. Oh, that's a silicon. I don't need that. Uh, over the rock. Around the rock. Is that more? Yep. There's another. Oh, here's another one. I almost ran right past it. And we'll grab that guy and that guy. How are we looking? Okay, we're looking okay. Looking okay. All right. Oh, here's another. Uh, jeez, it's so hard to see. Oh, here's one more. Okay, all right. Oh, nope, here's another one. They just come popping out of the, the dust. Okay, there's another and another. And here's another. And iron and silicon. Oh, here's one more. Okay, where am I? Very, very turned around here. Okay, all right. Ooh, there's a chest over here. Uh, yeah, I'll take all of that. Fantastic. All right, guys, I'm going to head to the base. I'm going to unload, and then I think we're probably going to head into that other cave and maybe grab some more. So I've basically just been sort of hanging out for the last couple minutes. I did put down another two of the flower spreaders, and we are increasing our oxygen. Now, we just literally unlocked this guy right here, the tier four drill, which is going to give us more heat and more pressure. And we absolutely need both of those. So we're going to tear this guy down, and we're going to plonk this guy in his place, and then we're going to tear this guy. Uh tear that guy down <laughs> and then we're gonna plonk this guy down in his place maybe if I can kind of wiggle it in there all right that's good wow these things are oh my god they're huge they're absolutely huge okay so 
I am getting very, very, very low on my super alloy again, yet again. So we are going to pop inside of here, put everything else away. So we did get a whole bunch of iron back. We did get aluminum back as well. And then our titanium and our super alloy and then our sulfur also has to get put away. All right. And titanium right there. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to unload the last couple of water bottles and we're going to go head over to the super alloy cave. So if you don't know where the super alloy cave, it's this big crash ship right behind the, uh, the buttes over there. That's where the iridium cave is. And then right here is the super alloy cave. Oh, oh, and there's a bunch of lag and it's fine. I think I cleared out this box. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay. Well, we'll grab all that. And then we'll just sort of zerp up all the super alloy that I can find in here. And I think I did grab a couple pieces. I'm not entirely sure. Because I did stream this uh, the other day. And if you are interested in watching that stream, it is... Uh, it is titled... I think it's uh, Supermarket Simulator slash The Planet Crafter Sunday stream. Um... And in that stream, I do believe I went ahead and found all the keys and unlocked all the doors. And we were basically just sort of waiting for the heat to get high enough where we can go into the oasis. So let me just sort of fly around, make sure. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Super sneaky little chest over here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Dismantle. And okay, I think we've got all the super alloy we can grab out of here. So we're going to go unload back at base, and then I think we're actually going to go take a flight over to the Oasis and see if that's been unlocked yet, because I, I can't remember what the heat requirement was for us to have access to it. So I'll BRBs. A tier 4 heater? Oh my god. Okay, well, huh, the Oasis is going to have to wait. I need to build that. Okay, so I think I'm going to put our heaters out back over here. So let's pick up that cobalt and start building some more platforms. Uh, here we go. Foundations. That's what they're called. I know this. Okay. And just plonk all these guys in here. Ooh, okay. Awesome. I can do a little wraparound. Okay, so that should be... Enough. Oh, I forgot to make the explosive powder. <laughs> I knew it's forgetting something. It's me. Of course I'm forgetting something. Okay. All right. Explosive powder. Explosive powder. Because I do want at least two of these guys. So we'll come over behind our... Well, no. No. I need enough room to put... An, uh... Oh, well, no. I already put my lockers in there. Okay. So we should be fine to plonk it down over here. And if we don't have enough room for whatever reason, I can always move it. Okay, tier four heater. And, oh, right there. Perfect. Yay! Look how huge they are. They're gigantic. Oh my gosh. All right. So now we can take a look at our progress screen here. Look at how much pressure we're producing now. And the heat is going way up, which means we should be able to unlock... The tier two spreader, well, no, that's tied to oxygen, but um, we don't need the biomass screen. The orbital information wouldn't be terrible, but we're, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Okay, so our heat, <gasps> a nuclear fusion gener generator. What? A tier two machine optimizer. Okay, that's cool. Gas extractor, we're getting kind of close to that one. We definitely need more drills, but I am, yet again, very low on super alloy and i i'm not quite sure where else to go to get that so we're gonna put our cobalt away and we are gonna go head over to the oasis uh so there's a ladder in the ground what okay let's turn on flat alarm seat i'll take that our ship crashed on this planet for an unknown reason. Many of us died upon impact. Some died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I've tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is deteriorating. I'm going outside one last time to try to find some water. Oh, no, man. That really sucks. Ooh, a blueprint. 
Uh, okay, and then we'll dismantle that because I need all the iron. I always need all of the iron. Is that the only one that's over here? That's really crazy. Man, that really sucks. All right, well, let's continue on our way. Well, poop. Uh, okay, how far away from melting this are we? Two GTI? Oh, we are very far. We are very, very far. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess now we know for certain that we cannot go in there. I did, however, pass a chest on my way up here. And look at all the moss. Look at all the moss. That is so cool. All right, so let's just grab all this. We'll head back. We'll learn our blueprint and uh, see what else we can craft. So we're back at base. I just finished unloading and I ran past the screen and noticed we're past the moss stage and into the flora stage, which means we should have plants growing around here once we are, uh, whoo, once we are at that point, which is super duper exciting. Okay, so let's come over here and see how far we are from that. Oh yeah, we're really far from that. Gas extractor, we're going to unlock here in just a second. And then, oh, hello, Pudge. <laughs> He's flopping his ears around. Woke up from a nap. Okay, so the orbital information, we don't really care. The seed spreader rocket, I'm I'm really curious about that one. And the tier two. Oh, there's our gas extractor. Okay. So where where is it? Oh, it's three super out. Zeolite. Oh, do we have zeolite growing around here already? We're gonna have to come outside and take a peek. Um, I didn't see any, but that doesn't mean it's not here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any over here. Actually, are the vines grown yet? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't see any zeolite around here just yet, which means we're gonna have to hang out just a little bit longer. So I ran around the butte a little bit and zerped up a whole bunch more super alloy and I did find that blueprint. So let's see, micro trip construction menu filter. Okay, I have no idea if that's good, but I think I had unlocked a thing. The thing, the uh, thingy thing. No, maybe I did not. Oh yeah, no, I did. Okay, so I need the methane cartridge and zeolite to make the, um, tier two destruction chip thing, which means I need zeolite <laughs> and none of it has started forming yet. Uh, okay. That's okay. That's okay. We just have to wait around for a little bit longer and we shouldn't be too far off from getting it. Let's go check our progress screen. Zerp inside here and okay. So we're at 23%, which not terrible, but I think I'm going to build some stuff to help get us there a little bit faster. So let's see. What are we kind of stalling on? Uh, maybe... Is it the biomass that we're stalled on? I think it might be. So I think we should send out another one of the biomass rockets or the plant rockets, which I think required a fertilizer and I should have almost all the stuff to make that. Let's pop inside of here. Oh yeah, all of our veggies are grown. Okay, so while I'm in here, I do want to do this really quick. I wanna take this out, I wanna take that out, and then I wanna take out this and this. And then I think I'm also gonna take this out. And you know what, we're just gonna start this whole process over, it's fine, okay. So let's take out the mushroom. That's eggplant, okay. So we'll start our eggplant production from the left to the right. Okay, and now we're gonna go over to the mushrooms. Oh wait, I can only put one seed in at a time. I don't know what I thought I was doing. And then squash, am I missing one? I am, I am. Okay, we can stick our beans right in there, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's unload all this stuff into here. And I just need the four, I think. All right. And now we need our algae. And then our sulfur, I believe, which I think I'm pretty low on. Yeah, I'm just gonna take all of it just in case because I can't remember what I needed. All right, so one fertilizer, 
two fertilizers. Oh, we need tree bark for sure. And a lima, lima seed, lurma seed. I don't know. One of those. It's definitely one of them. All right. And then we'll pop inside of here. And then I think our lurma seeds are in here. Yeah, great. Okay. And then I just have to grab some rockets out of here. And hopefully I have enough stuff to launch this twice. Because I would like to have that boost uh, be a little bit extra. Okay, plant rocket. Oh, super alloy, right. Okay. All right, we'll just fly down. It's fine. And then we will grab a couple of super alloy, head back up, and send this rocket on its way. Huh. And plants. Perfect. Okay. We'll send you on your way. Go on. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. All right. The second plant's rocket is off into space. Oh, yeah. Look how green everything looks now. Look at all the moss spreading. Like, our, our desolate wasteland of sand is turning all green. It's so cool. Look at the mountain. Oh, man. Oh, this game is just so good. <gasps> Look at all the green fireflies. Oh, that's really cool. All right, so we're gonna wait for this to dissipate and then I think I'm gonna send off the other rocket. Okay, so it's been a little bit. I did call down another rocket to increase our heat because we were getting a bit low. Uh, it was almost at a standstill. And then I threw down another one of these guys. So we're generating more plants and oxygen, and we've got our zeolite finally, which is fantastic. And we also unlocked the DNA manipulator. So that means we can start making trees. Okay, so let's grab this zeolite. Whoop. Zerp that up. Delicious. All right, and now we're going to head back inside of our base. Oh boy. Getting a little bit laggy. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so in order to make this thing, I need three super alloy. Please let me have enough. Okay, I have enough of that. And then I need an iridium rod. Okay, all right. Pardon the silence. I was counting. <laughs> okay, let's grab the iridium rod. And now we can go plonk this guy right over here because I want him sort of easily accessible and then he will start producing methane cartridge but also randomly an oxygen bottle which is pretty handy okay so let me unload all the stuff oh I can't I can't actually what I could do is throw in another locker right over here huh get in there there we go okay now I can take all my random stuff out of here dedicate that box back to aluminum throw the oxygen multiplier in there and then put our flower seed not in that one in this one and then we can put our mushroom seed away as well and we'll just oh oh super alloy rod okay I forgot that those were a thing um, did I unlock anything else new? Let me just pop inside of here. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, so we have the seed spreader rocket. We've got the screen things that we don't really need. <laughs> but the seed spreader rocket is going to increase our oxygen. And I think... Huh. Yeah, I think I might want to do that. And then we've got the DNA manipulator. Oh, the tier 3 exoskeleton. And then the air filter, which would be very nice. And then the auto crofter is kind of far as well. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. Our terraformation is definitely getting up there. As soon as we hit GTI, like I think it was two GTI, that's when we can go and check out the Oasis. Um, nuclear fusion generator is still a ways off. But this one I really, really want. And we are very sort of kind of almost sort of close to getting that one. Um, so that means I can go put that down in the super alloy cave and get super alloy from that cave. And then my super alloy problems will become a thing in the past, which is phenomenal. Okay. Do I have anything new in here? 
I don't think I do. Oh, <gasps> oh wow, that happened way faster than I was expecting. Okay, all right, fantastic. Osmium, super alloy rod, uh-oh. I have four. <laughs> What's it take to make a rod? Ugh, eight and an aluminum. Okay, I'm gonna go farm up some super alloy from wherever I can find it, and I'll see you guys in just a second. While I was on my way to the Dust Bowl, I did come across this thing. So we're going to climb. Okay, we've got zeolite up here. That's that's definitely a good thing. Are there any chests? Nope, that's a puddle. Oh, here's a chest. Ooh, okay, that's a good find. That's definitely a good find. Uh, anything else around here? Should be... Ooh, a new message. Okay. No super alloy, but a whole bunch of goodies. Wait, was that another thing? A heat multiplier fuse. Oh, we can put that over by our heaters. Obviously. All right, so let's go see what this message says. And we'll just plummet to the ground very slowly. All right. Right through the door. Okay. And where is... I just want to make sure I'm not going to dismantle it. It's from Riley. I've conducted a deep scan of the planet and something is off. I'm getting strange geological signatures and incoherent topographical data near your location. Try to get to this place. Use the bottom left corner of your interface to find your way around. Okay. First of all, I don't understand how this works. I know it's supposed to be coordinates, but I'm bad at that. Uh... And I did, so in, I did in my stream, go ahead and find the location that Riley is talking about. So, uh, we don't really have to go down there, um, but we, we, we surely could if we wanted to. All right. So I'm going to unload all this stuff and then I am absolutely going to go get some super alloy. Okay, so I grabbed all the super alloy I could find and I came back and realized I could have just made it. Yep, those brain worms are a thing. Okay, so let's make our super alloy rod. And uh, what else? Is that it? Is that all I need? Okay, we need two iridium rods, which I believe I have. Yay! Okay, off to the super alloy cave. And we're back. Okay, so we are in the super alloy cave. I have all of the things to craft up the drill. And I have just realized that I forgot to bring stuff to craft a shredder. Uh, which is a super alloy, a uranium, an osmium, and an explosive powder. So if you open up the container, it'll show you what it's drilling for. Yeah, we're getting that super alloy, but it will also pull up other materials, which is why we need a shredder so that we don't use up all of the inventory space because as you'll see here in a second, our storage room is completely full with just the um, basic resources that are, you know, very easy to get, A, because we have the drill, but also because they're everywhere. So I think we're probably going to go ahead and turn that one off. And you know what? We'll leave, we'll leave it. We'll leave it where it is. <gasps> Tier 2 food grower. Yeah. All right. That's fantastic because I very, very much need that in my life. That's going to make things grow so much faster as far as it comes to food. Um, but yeah, so we're going to make a shredder. We're going to bring it over there to shred all the other uh, just basic ore that it's going to pull out of the ground. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to need, let's see, where is it? Where's the shredder? Right here. Okay. All right. I need a uranium for sure. I need an osmium, which I don't have, but I can find it pretty easily. And then the explosive powder. I think I put those in a closet back here. Did I put them in a closet? Oh, you know what? I think I stuck it. Uh, where? Over here. There we go. Okay. Explosive powder. Now I just need the uranium and I need one iron to craft the foundation. 
and our osmium we can get from this cave up here because I did not clear it all out even though I thought I did. And look, guys, look, we got we got grass. We've got little ferns growing. Oh man. We are making some really good progress. I'm so excited. All right, so let's get up over here. And we're going to hang a right past the crap shack. And there should be at least a couple more pieces of osmium. Yeah, here's one. And then is there any more that I missed in here? I'm sure there probably is. But you know what? We've got the one that we need. So we'll go ahead, head out, back over to the uh, super alloy cave. And I think if I come out this side, we should be pretty close to it. But we shall see. Is my sense of direction any good? <laughs> Ooh, more zeolite. Um, and I think we're actually at the point where we have wild flowers growing. Oh yeah, there's there it is. Super alloy cave. All right, let's pop inside of here. And we're going to put down our foundation. Let's just keep going. Come on. And there we go. Okay. Let's pop this down on the ground. And, uh, nope, not there. And plonk. Perfection. Okay, so now I should be able to get my shredder and just huh, rotate. Yeah, okay. I did actually need the foundation. And we'll put it right there. So then as this gathers up, like this stuff, we can open this, put it in here. Settings automatically destroys content when inventory is full uh enable but then also there's the big red button push the big red button and it destroys all the stuff in the things which is phenomenal okay we are going to take that one super alloy but yeah so there are wild flowers that are growing and i did scoop this one up earlier which gives us an oxygen multiplier of 450 percent which is good it's definitely good but there is a plant that's going to give us even more. Oh, wait, what is this? What is this? Open debris. <gasps> oh, I wish I found that earlier. Look at all the super alloy that was in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that was a good find. Anything else sneaky? <gasps> We've got trees. Look at the little trees growing. Oh my God. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, there's a chest. Is there any more super alloy that would like to be in my inventory? Uh, no. No, there is not. Okay. Oh, look at the cool pink flowers. Oh, that's really, really neat. That is super neat. I like that a lot. Oh, there's another chest. Uh, bean seeds. Oh, super alloy. I'll take that. I will leave that because I don't want to fill up my inventory. Um... Hmm. So there used to be a black and white plant that grew in this area, and I don't know if it's still a thing, but I do know where they also grow. Uh, we, okay, we want to go towards the um, towards the Grand Canyon, and then we should be able to find one of the plants that I'm talking about. So I'll see you guys in just a second. So I was flying over towards the uh, Grand Canyon area and I'm like right behind where these buttes are and I came across this cave. Oh, we've got some sulfur and some osmium in here uh, and into the water, which I just love so much. Uh -huh. Ooh, a chest. Okay. Anything good in here? Ooh, yeah, there is. I will take all of that. Thank you. I'll come back for the seeds later. Um, can I get out of here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. So these gigantic vines, you can climb them, as we have seen previously in the Iridian Cave. And then up on top of here, there's usually, yeah, there's some zeolite. And then there's usually a plant, but we might not... Oh, wait, is that it over there? All right, let's see. Uh, come on down here. Should be a vine we can climb. Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's climb this thing. 
Is this the one I'm thinking of? No, this is another purple one. Yeah, no, we might not be at that point yet where we have it unlocked, but I could swear. Wait, is that another pink one? That might be another pink one. They either changed it or we don't have that one unlocked yet, which either of those things is entirely probable. Okay. Huh. Careful. Careful. Let's climb up this vine. There should be a vine. Yeah, there it is. All right. Let's climb up this thing. Ugh. Yeah, it's another purple one. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's perfectly fine. All right, let's head back up out of here. Get back to our base and, uh, and start sorting out some other stuff and things. And I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we are back at base and we are going to create a seed rocket and I have to make a mutagen. Yeah, a bacteria sample and a mutagen. So I need two bacteria samples. So that's a whole bunch of algae. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then water and we're just gonna pop outside and get it from our beautiful lake water collector. Because he is so good at doing his job. Oh, and I missed the stairs <laughs> because, of course, I did. All right. Okay. Pop in here a bacteria sample. And then, oh, I need a methane cartridge, which I did just pull out of the gas extractor. So we'll grab. No, I just need the one. Thank you. Grab that. And then what else did I need? I'm good. Okay. So there's our mutagen. Our second bacteria sample, we need a tree bark and two super alloy. And I think I have exactly two. So let's pull our tree bark out of here. Put one inside of here. Go check our super alloy locker. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're good. Okay, yay, seed rocket. All right, that should increase our oxygen by a good amount and we are kind of uh, held back by our oxygen production right now. So hopefully this will give us a nice boost. All right, let's go pop inside and let's check our screen here. Uh, if we can, if we could please stop shaking. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Have fun reading that. All right. All right. Are we done yet? Are we done? Okay. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. I mean, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. Uh, it's, it's fine, I guess. Ooh, ooh, very cool. Now, one thing I did forget to do is put some windows on the front of my base. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's an iron and a cobalt. Easy peasy, uh, cobalt, two of those. And then, did I not make? <gasps> I sent off the wrong one. I'm an idiot. I sent off the wrong one. Okay, so two more super alloy. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna grab our iron, and we're gonna make some windows, and then we'll go send off the right seed rocket. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, all right. Window. And window. Tree spreader! <gasps> Yay! Okay, what do we need for that? Um, tree spreader. Here it is. Oh, oh, okay. So a fertilizer and a tree bark. Well, maybe we'll do that instead. So let me go grab a tree bark. And I think I have fertilizer in the closet over here. I think. Not this one. This one. Perfect. We do. Okay. So then this one, I think, goes into the water. Placed on a water surface. Yeah. And there should be a bunch of those little puddles. So you could, if you wanted, put it right there. But there is a little water puddle right here that we're going to stick right there. And I don't have a tree seed. Huh. Oh, with the DNA ma manipulator. Oh, geez. Okay. I'm going to grab all the stuff and things I need to make that immediately. All right. So that's a... Oh. Oh, we have. Yeah. Okay. Do I have any osmium? I don't. Okay, I'm going to go run off, grab some osmium, and then I am going to put down a DNA manipulator and we'll try crafting some tree seeds. All right, so I just got back to the base uh, from gathering seeds and, or seeds, uh, osmium and stuff, and this thing looks like it shrunk down inside of the ground. I'm not quite sure what's happening there, but it's fine. 
Uh, okay. All right. That's, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just carry on, shall we? Okay. So I need one bioplastic nugget, which I know I have in here. And then we can grab that and plonk this thing down right over here. Wait, hold on. Why are there two screens? That's different. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see. All right. So we have three different tree types and I think I like that one. Soleus. So we need a Lerma and a tree bark, which we absolutely have. Uh, Lermas. Lermas. Lerma. There we go. All right. And then we need one tree bark. And I'm pretty sure our biodome has crafted more by now. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go pop this inside of here. It is a, wait, hold on a second. It's a mutagen, right? Yeah. A mutagen, a tree bark, and a lerma seed. So wait, what was the order? Tree bark, mutagen, lerma. Tree bark, mutagen, lerma. Research. Ooh. Yay. All right. It's sequencing. Fantastic. Okay. So when that thing is done, we should end up with a tree seed. Oh, look at that. It shows you the growth thing. Oh, cool. That's cool. I never noticed that before. All right. So let's pop outside and check. Oh yeah. We've got all the methane. All right. So let's go throw that in here for now. And uh, yeah, we're going to hang out here and wait for this guy to finish. And there we go. We've got our first tree seed. Okay, let's go over here and stick it inside of our little tree machine thingy doodler. Okay. Now it should start growing trees any second now. Any second now. Because with the magic of editing, we have trees. Look at them. Look at all the trees we have. They're so cool looking. They're so cool looking. Look at all the ivy growing up them. That is so cool. Oh, oh, lag, lag. Okay, all right. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Okay. So I think that that is going to do it for this episode, guys. It's a little bit of a shorter one. But man, did we get a lot of things going. We have green grounds now. We have all these gorgeous flowers growing. We've got our tier four drills that look like giant spider creatures that are terrifying and will give me nightmares for sure. And then what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. The We are almost completed with the tree growing cycle. We have our beautiful lake and it's just, it's just going to get so much better. And I cannot wait to see what is coming next. Yep. So I think next episode, we're probably going to upgrade all of our food growers because we need them badly. Um, what is the other thing that I was looking to get? I think it's in here. Oh, there's a tier five heater. Oh my gosh. We unlocked the beehive. Okay, yeah, so next episode, we're getting our better food growers. We're absolutely putting in our beehives because, yeah, that's that's going to be a, a huge deal, a huge, huge deal for that. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it, and I really hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing as well. And until next time, I'll see all of you later. Thank you.